As a first step of our project production, we need to import some media files to After Effects. So make sure that you downloaded the Assets folder from the course materials. To import files in After Effects, you can come up here to the Application menu and choose File, and under File we choose Import. You see we have some options here, but the most important one and the one that I use most is the first one here, the Import File dialog. So click this and then After Effects will open up your Explorer. Now let's move to our After Effects course assets wherever you stored them and open up the Project One Assets folder. You see that in this folder we have different media files. So first of all, let's take a look what we have got here. We have got a folder and if we enter this, you see that we have a PNG sequence. Let me change this to a list here. So these are 75 PNGs that form a movie sequence. Then let's continue in our project assets folder. We have two different Illustrator files. We have a movie file, so this is a video file, and then we have two PSD files, two Photoshop files. Let's start by importing just one of these files, and we can start by importing the splatter 03.mov file. So this is a QuickTime movie file. Let's select it, and then you can simply click Import, and After Effects will import this file right into our project. Another option to access the import dialog is to double click in an empty area in your project window. So if I double click right here, for example, then After Effects will also open up this dialog box and now you can choose and import additional files. Another option to import files to After Effects is to simply use drag and drop. So let's open up the Explorer and right from the Explorer I can now drag my file in here and just drop it into my project area and you will see that After Effects will also import this one. So we do not need two instances of this movie file, so I will simply delete the file. To delete a file you can either select it and press delete on your keyboard or you can also drag it down here on this trash can icon here and then the file is deleted from your project. So let's import a few other files and therefore I will use the shortcut now and I press Ctrl and I on my keyboard and I will open up my Project One Assets folder. Let's take a look and import the brush PNG sequence, so open up this folder. So let me quickly explain what an image sequence is. An image sequence is a sequence of images, obviously, that After Effects will interpret as one file as a movie file. So if you want to use images as an image sequence, they have to have some kind of a continuous numeration. You see that these numbers here are from 0 to 74, and After Effects will be able to interpret these images as an image sequence. To import an image sequence, we select the first one right here. And if you would click Import now, you would only import this PNG as a single file. If you do want to import a PNG sequence, then you have to check this box here that says PNG sequence. So let's select this and then let's click import. Now you see After Effects created this icon here. This stands for uh, image sequence and you can also see that it took all the frames from frame 0 to frame 74. By the way, if you want to preview the media that you imported, then you can simply double click on the file right here. Then After Effects will open up the footage preview and then with your time indicator, you can scroll through your video. Of course, this is only possible if it is a video. If it is an image, then you just can preview the image and you can preview your footage. The same works with the brush sequence, double click it will open up the brush sequence right here and now you see we can preview our content. So let's close this footage preview for now and let's continue importing some files. So let's double click here to open up our dialog box again and let's move back to our project assets and let's take a look on importing watercolor stains. 
So I want to import the watercolor stain one and two, and I want to import these together. So what I can do here is I can simply click and drag, select both. I could also select them with the left mouse button, hold down control and select the second one. Now you see that both of them are selected. And in this case, I do not want to create an image sequence because I want these to be imported as two separate images. So I make sure that the sequence is not checked here. There's also the possibility to import them as footage or as composition. We will take a look at this in the next step. For now, let's simply make sure that footage is selected here and click import. Now you see After Effects imported both of these PSD files together, but they are not a sequence. So we have this standard Photoshop uh, icon here and there are two separate accessible PSD files. So if I double click on this watercolor stain here, then you can preview it. If you do not see the right image, sometimes this has to do with our cache, then just right click and click reload footage. And then you should have the image displayed as it should be. And I can do the same here, double click the second image. And now we have exactly what I said. It doesn't update here. So right click, click reload footage, and then you see that our image is displayed correctly in our footage preview window. So let's close this again. And now let's continue importing some files. So again, I double click here. And now what I want to import is one of my Illustrator files. Let's first of all, take the retain layer size example Illustrator file. We will not use this for our project. This is only an example file to explain some different options here. So first of all, we already took a look at the option to import these as footage. So if I select the retain layer size Illustrator file, let's select it. And if I import it as footage and click import, you see that now uh, After Effects will open up this dialog box and will ask me whether I want to import it as a composition. And I can change here now. No, I do not want it to import it as a composition. I want to import it as a footage. So let's take a look at what is the difference between footage and composition. First of all, if I select footage and I select merge layers and I click OK, then you see we have one Illustrator file. And if I open this up now by double clicking, I see it didn't update again. So let's right click and reload the footage. I think that this is some kind of a bug of the new After Effects CC 2017. I'm not sure. Maybe it is fixed when you watch this course. So you see that now this Illustrator file is just one layer with our two wheels here. Now let's double click again. Let's select this again. And now let's import. The second option that I have, if I select to import the footage, I could choose a layer. So let's say I do not want to have both circles. I just want to import the first circle. So select, choose layer, circle one, and let's click OK. Now you see we have this new Illustrator file. And if I double click this now and again reload, you see now only this layer, so this circle here got imported. Again, double click here to open up our import dialog. Again, select our retain layer size example. And now we will take a look. Let's import it. And now we will take a look at the options when we choose composition. If we choose composition, then we have two options down here. We have the layer size option and we have the document size option. Let's take a look at the document size option and let's click OK. What After Effects did now is you see it didn't import it as an Illustrator file. It created a composition. And additionally to this composition, it created a folder. And inside this folder, we have two Illustrator files. And these represent the layers of our Illustrator files. If we open up the composition now by double clicking, you see that now we have a composition that is open right here. And also we have two layers already applied to our timeline panel. And these two layers in our timeline panel represent the two layers that I created in Illustrator. The problem now is that because I choose composition size, both layers have their anchor point in the middle of our composition. I already explained the anchor point quickly in the tools video. So if you are not familiar with the anchor point, the anchor point determines uh, where to rotate a layer or where to scale it. So if I press R on my keyboard now to reveal the rotate settings and I want to rotate my wheel, you see that it does not rotate uh, on its middle where it should rotate. 
it rotates around the middle of the composition. And maybe this is not what I want. Maybe I want to rotate these two wheels individually on their anchor points. So let's undo this by pressing Ctrl and C. And let's take a look at the next option or the last option that we have importing this kind of files. So I double click here again and I choose this one more time and import it. And now I choose composition, but instead of document size, I will choose layer size. And now I will click OK. You see that After Effects now created another composition. It added this extension here to automatically so that we know which one we imported last. And I now double click to open this up. You see that After Effects retained the size of the Illustrator layer and the anchor point is right in the middle of my wheel. And if I now press R on my keyboard to open up the rotation properties here, now I could make a nice rotation animation. But as I said, we do not really need these example files. So let's select this one. Let's hold down shift and let's select all in between. So now make sure that the composition is selected, that these folders are selected and that this Illustrator file here is selected as well. And now let's drag them down here to our trash icon and then just confirm that you want to delete these files because we do not need these files for our project. Instead, we will import one more file. So let's double click again and let's choose the After Effects CC Illustrator file. This is a logo that I created. Now let's select our After Effects CC Illustrator file. Let's click Import. And now we can change from composition to footage because we do not need the individual layers here. We just need this as a footage file. So click OK. And now you see that the Illustrator file is imported as a simple Illustrator image. OK, all the media files that are required for our first project are now imported into After Effects. And now it's time to save out our first project file. And I will show you how this works in the next video.